Hey guys, welcome to your love reading. I'll be looking at your past, current, and the energies coming towards you. And this reading will also be exposing your person's true intentions, their feelings for you now. If there's anything you need to know moving forward, know this reading is not going to resonate with everybody. If you're single and you don't really have anyone in mind, particularly interested in anyone you want to be in a relationship with or even find remotely interesting it's okay there's probably a reason there's a vacancy in your love life and i'll ask spirit here in three cards describe your next relationship or what you need to know about a potential love interest in the future okay all right, let's take a look here. If you need a personal reading, email me or book or reserve a reading using the link I provided in the description box. Please only send the amount that I have listed in the description, okay? This reading here is for Aquarius. All right, Aquarius, let's see here what's going on for you. What happened in the recent or distant past for Aquarius, please? Aquarius's love life. Show me Aquarius's love life in the past, please. Thank you. All right, Aquarius, what I'm seeing here is there's a little bit of um, confusion was what I was going to say, and that's funny, I have two cards of confusion. You could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Anyways, let's get to your reading. Um... This is really interesting what I'm seeing here because it's like you know you like this. Well, okay, I guess I feel like I'm speaking to a very, very specific Aquarius when I say this. Because right away, the first thing that I felt was there was an introduction to you to this person, either a while ago or in the recent past. I don't know if this was at a party or if you are somehow related to this person or you guys work together, mutual friends, co-workers, or you guys kind of know some of the same people and came from maybe the same places. But there is a sense of familiarity with you and this person. I, I gotta say, it didn't really happen right away. I'm kind of getting like this um, particular Aquarius dealing with this person. It's like you knew this person was married. Or you knew they were taken or was with somebody else. And a lot's happened since then. So when you first spoke with this person, it's kind of like that third party introduction that I was telling you about. This was fair showing me. You two talked, you two connected, but you never really, really talked to them because this person was always looking elsewhere, looking to another person. They were with somebody. This was a third party situation. Perhaps you knew it. Perhaps you didn't. Perhaps you assumed it. Or if there was something kind of confusing, there's a confusing element here that it maybe still is. That's why I'm kind of confused right now. Like, that's what the confusion, I think, is. It's like, are they going back to this person? Are they with this person? Because there's somebody here who you initially, like, I'm kind of getting there was some kind of attraction there. But you guys never really talked because of that reason. Maybe you knew they were taken. Or they knew you were taken. You know, flip the script if you need to and don't 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 um, 
choose the gender that best fits for you okay this is a general reading but the energies that i'm picking up on right now is like aquarius this was something that you didn't really see happening but when it did it completely took over it completely became like your main muse you know what i mean like this person just you were all about it you're really into it and you were really hoping that something more could happen but for some of you it didn't either they broke up with you they ended things you ended things with them you found out about a third party situation or they used that as an excuse here that's just how everything is coming along i don't know how that's going to make any sense but there was a decision needing to be made in the past i mean this i feel like this is something very um kind of romantic in the making there was a lot of confusion in here um, about someone's past or about someone's ex let's take a look here show me the energies now between Aquarius and this person please I'm getting you guys kind of made up where there was Someone then from the past recently reached out to you. Or you decided to finally respond back to them, see them, or you ran into them. This is um, an energy that you're quite familiar that's still in your orbit, so to say. Okay, I don't want to keep using the word energy. It's so annoying. <laughs> I never said the word energy so much in my life and now ever since I started doing tarot like everything I say is just like words I never use in my life I need to find another word for energy this could be a Scorpio a Taurus a Virgo a Capricorn Libra Cancer Scorpio Pisces it could be really any sign Aquarius the energies between you both at this time is it's like complicated one wants a relationship one is very unsure but he or she does not want to let you go and you guys still continue to talk or when you guys talk it still feels like there's a connection here some of you who's you is because i'm seeing here some of you guys are talking okay i didn't want to exclude that from the reading but there's definitely some of you where um, commu all communications have ceased and stopped I mean the calls are going unanswered texts are not getting uh, responded to they're not even going through okay we have the death energy here to the eight of wands someone probably ended all communications recently or in the past someone here decided look I don't want to talk to you anymore I can't do this anymore not until you make a decision I can't keep doing this is kind of what I'm getting if I see the wheel of fortune that will really well we have a rebirth <clears throat> you know we keep doing this we make up we break up we talk we're angry with each other and here we go doing this again it's confusing me I see here Aquarius you're just putting a lot of time on yourself right now I see you're just distracting yourself with work, with this game we call life, you know, and I feel like, I feel like you're still trying to, okay, so we have temperance here, so you, you yeah, that's funny, we have a fortune right there, um, but when I saw temperance, some of you, I don't know where it went now. But could be also a Virgo Capricorn Taurus you're dealing with. This, this is a married man. You're waiting here for them to file divorce. You can tell them you're not going to speak to them. Or there's something here about just not getting a clear message from your person. If you found out that they recently are still married or they're not moving, there really hasn't been any changes in their marital status or their relationship status here, because I'm getting for some of you, this is a obvious third party connection or was and possibly is still. Um, 
somebody here was married or is married. I understand the difficulties around that. There's definitely a bitter woman here. Or a bitter man. This is a, this is a bitter soon-to-be ex. Aquarius, I'm not saying this is you because you guys are also represented by Queen of Swords, King of Swords, but I'm not reading that that way. I'm not reading this as you, though it could be you, but I'm reading this as coming through right now because of this third party situation. This is the soon to be ex. This is the Queen of Swords here who is the divorcee. And Tarot, that's how she, that's, that's the person, the jaded queen. This person right next to the victory card, though, I'm seeing here she's doing everything she can right now to make this other person's life miserable because she's kind of somehow still kind of getting, you know, some kind of pleasure from, I guess, making this guy or this woman's life miserable, I guess, in a way to get them back because they know that they're leaving. There's a divorce. There's an ending here in this relationship. We have the Hierophant one next to death as well. Hierophant is marriage. Traditional settings. Death is, you know, clearly obvious. An ending to a situation. And as for some of you, I never see death as a physical death, but I feel like some somebody here is actually getting really sick or maybe using sickness as an excuse. I don't like to say that, but I am picking up on that because of that jaded queen doing everything she can to make someone's life miserable. She is not being compliant. She is not being agreeable. She's just making someone's life very miserable and just doing all she can and doing the most to make someone's life very hard. In a way, this is payback for her, so I kind of get it. But in a way, you know, if the relationship isn't working, why would you want a man or a woman in your relationship or stay with you at all if they're not in love with you and they clearly have eyes for somebody else? That's something I don't get, you know? But I'll take my feelings aside, and I feel like these two people who really want to be together are actually really in love with each other. Let's take a look here and see how they might have perceived you in the past, present, and the near future. And we'll take a look at the near future energies. <clears throat> that was a lot of drama. I had to put that away. <laughs> okay. okay. You guys don't know the random things that I pick up in my readings. But we, we deal with this. You know, this is... Yeah, this is a third party situation here. This is a third party situation. Aquarius, what I'm getting right now is this is your person. They're being completely influenced by a third party right now. I'm almost trying to make them think that they could work out something. I don't know how that might resonate. Perhaps your person right here kind of feels guilty doesn't really know what they want to do just yet. They don't want to throw it all away if they've been together for like decades. They have children together. You know, that's like the worst, right? Breaking up a home. But I don't see this person coming in as a home wrecker at all. Like I really see here this person's like, hey, look, if you're in a situation, let me know. Don't string me along and breadcrumb me thinking that, you know, we have something when you're really just trying to get laid. Or, you know, you're really just trying to just do something here and play games and use me for X, Y, and Z, whatever this thing is. Someone here is really telling them like the truth, really wanting clarity. And the clarity here, Aquarius, is that you both are in love with each other. This person is in love with you. This person's falling for you. You guys are meant to be together, but there is still something here in the background right now that's still kind of lingering in the shadows. And I have the devil in reverse. This person is leaving. There is still something quite toxic. The devil is never, never not toxic. It's, in, it's toxic in some way, shape, or form, but I love the fact that it came out in reverse. You could also be dealing with a Capricorn. <laughs> Or, I mean, this other woman that I told you about. Or man. Okay? Um, just, I'm kind of getting here. This is a soon-to-be ex. Let's just call her that. Or him that. 
Yeah, look at how it just fell out again, Aquarius. The death to a marriage, a death to his connection. Someone's not happy. The fact that they received word or news that their person's moving on and they're moving on maybe to you. They're, they're here, they're moving on to you. It's, it's bringing about a lot of unease. But what makes me feel like this reading is definitely worth doing and I'm really happy about this energy here because clearly here Spirit's saying that this person's person was a karmic otherwise they would not be showing up right now with a death card the hierophant and the devil and the queen of swords king of swords whoever this person is doesn't even have to be an Aquarius Libra or Gemini this person is just kind of bitter right now about the whole divorce thing, about their person cheating or person never being home. I mean, of course, everybody would be mad if their person, they found out their person was cheating. But I'm getting here, this person knows that the relationship isn't working, but is still being very difficult. It's like they don't want their person happy. So can you really truly say you love them if you don't want them happy? That's really selfish to me. You know? That, that's just, that's what it is. And I feel like Aquarius, you and this person have this intense chemistry with each other. You guys both know it. And Spirit's saying that there is going to be a commitment made here. We have the two of cups. You're going to get a message here from this person, or at least this person is really wanting to message you. There's something here that you said to them that just is really on their mind right now. And I don't know how long ago this was said or sent. They just have not been able to stop thinking about you and stop thinking about this whole situation overall. How they perceived Aquarius in the past, please. How did this person perceive Aquarius in the past? If you guys want to look into it further, we can request for a personal reading. <clears throat> Aquarius, they um, always felt like, yeah, this is a very specific message for somebody. This is not going to resonate for all of you. We have the devil with the three of swords again. The way that they perceived you in the past, they knew they were doing something wrong for some of you. Not all of them. Okay, because the devil here is temptation. They saw you, they were interested. Some of them behaved, some of them were good, never acted on the urges or temptation. Some of them stayed very honest and faithful to their partner. But they knew it was falling apart. This was like a very toxic relationship. They weren't happy in it. And when they got with you, I mean, look at this. The differences in that. I mean, the three of cups here with the knight of cups. They fell, they they fell in love with someone who they thought was just rebound to kind of kind of get off. It's like, when do you really, you know? It's like they weren't ready for someone like you. How do they get prepared to meet somebody like that's really their soulmate? The two of cups for them dealing with all this garbage. <clears throat> you know, it could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Capricorn, that the people that are were, are or is involved were or is involved, and how do they perceive you now? Ah, Aquarius, look at that. This is a third party situation. There is a breakup here. We have the Tower and the Lovers. A man's got to choose between two women, but he knows exactly who he's going to choose. He does. He knows. He knows. He knows exactly what he's going to do, where he's going to go, and who he's going to meet up and when. Okay? Um, that's what I have for you guys at this time. Aquarius, if you want to look into it, you, girl, I got you. Or guy, dude, <laughs> I got you. If you want to reach out to me, send an email. I will respond with how to book a reading. Um, it's really simple. It's actually really simple. You can just reserve your reading right away by using the link, but only send 33, 33. Okay, those of you who are single, like I said, I want to look at your next relationship. 
those of you who are very single, nobody in mind, don't want to get back with an ex, don't even want to be with your current person, don't have anybody that you're even remotely interested in, remotely interested in or find interesting, maybe no one that you're really attracted to at this time. For Aquarius, for those Aquarius singles, what do they need to know coming in for them, their next potential lover, next potential relationship or future partnership. Um, you'll want to wait for this person, Aquarius. We have the Empress and the Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> okay, um, Aquarius, for you guys. I'm going to kind of zoom in on this Empress for you guys here. You kind of want to wait for this person. There's a reason why this situation has not happened for you yet. But it's about to manifest. This person is going to spoil you. You're going to be living the high life, okay? You're going to have all your needs, wants met, okay? The Empress here, she's like very secured, you know. This person may not be, um, I feel like this person may be pretty well off. Like you marry like a really wealthy, rich man who has been single for so long and they have been looking for their Empress. They have been staying so single. They've been so focused on work. They're not like the playboy player type. This person here is looking for that one. They've been looking for that one. Okay. I am getting that here. Um, the next relationship here for you guys. Okay. It could be Taurus, Libra, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Okay. But you guys will get a message from this person. They will invite you somewhere nice. This person may come off a little bit timid, kind of introverted, but you know there's something kind of loyal, sophisticated about this person. This person is going to be very intrigued by how deep you are, by how sensitive you are, how funny you are, and adventurous you are, and that you kind of balance out their energy. It's like what they lack, they could be very like, um, not getting like too nerdy but they're an intellectual they have maybe their own business you know this is why you kind of like are very secure you may be marrying a wealthy man or woman but they kind of have their shit together they have been really putting their love life on hold and really focused on you know school on a career on their business i'm really getting business more over than school but you know because i'm kind of getting this as a middle-aged man um you know someone definitely be on their 30s and <clears throat> 30s isn't even middle age but you know um you guys are really going to balance each other out this is going to be a very cute relationship for sure they're going to be really attracted to you aquarius is there something about you that's like if they're yeah there's something really cute about this coming in you may have already met this person it's something I, I, I just wanted to say but maybe you didn't really give them a chance or didn't really notice them before or they tried talking to you and you kind of just shrugged it off so your next relationship looks like the one person you're going to marry Aquarius, I really enjoyed your reading. If you guys want to look into the past or the future, you see what comes out in your own spiritual tarot reading, let me know.